uh, Janos to introduce our first speaker, please. Okay, dear president, dear colleague, I would like to say a few words as an introduction. So the webinar is mainly based on the a published update and guidance on management of myopia by the European Society of Ophthalmology in cooperation with International Myopia Institute. This guidance was published in the European Journal of Ophthalmology early March in this year, and it is open access, so you, you can reach it free of charge in the full, in the full content. So pathological myopia is predicted to be to become the most common cause of irreversible vision impairment and blindness worldwide and also in Europe. Here you see the uh, predicted increasing further uh, tendency in Europe unless we act now. And we have to act now and we have the effective interventions which is described, which are described in the guidance and also will be shown during this uh, webinar. So the main aims of the webinar is to increase awareness and to provide guidance for eye care specialists to prevent myopia onset and to reduce progression of myopia. Here you see the lectures. The webinar consists of six lectures after the introductions. So histology of myopic eye will be presented by Professor Jos Jonas from Germany. And unfortunately, Serge Resnikov professor is not able to join. So I will present the epidemiology of myopia. And uh, Professor Kristina Vidinova from Bulgaria will present environmental risk factors and their optimization possibilities. And Professor Andrei Zrybowski from Poland will present pharmacological interventions. And Dr. Beata Tapasto from Hungary on optical interventions and combination therapies. And then I will uh, show a short summary about our guidance. And at the end, there will be 20 minutes for questions and answers. So we, we are waiting at the end your, your question, questions. As um, an introduction, I would like to uh, show you some important definitions, which the definition is me of myopia is very well known. It is a refractive error in which rays of light entering the eye parallel to the optical axis are brought to a focus in front of the retina when ocular accommodation is relaxed. So the qualitative uh, classification is that there are uh, axial myopia, where the axial eye length of the eye is longer than the normal, and refractive type, where the changes in the structure of or location of the cornea or the lens uh, causes causing the uh, myopia, and there are some uh, secondary forms as well. Most important is the uh, quantitative classification in, the, in this uh, webinar and in the guidance we are speaking about uh, myopia if the spherical equivalent refractive error is equal or less than minus half diopters. And about low myop myopia when it is between minus half and minus six diopters and high myopia when it is less than minus six diopters. The important uh, um, term is the premyopia in children around the age of six when the refraction is less or equal to plus uh, 0.5. 75 diopters, but uh, more than minus half diopters. That is the baseline refraction at that age and other risk factors provide the sufficient likelihood of the future development of myopia. So the pathogenesis. Myopia onset and progression is, is a result from a complex interplay of visual environmental conditions 
and genetic factors that modulate the eye growth. Retinal defocus initiates a signal cascade that leads to a number of cellular and biochemical changes in the retina and in the retinal pigment epithelium. These chemical signals are transmitted through the choroid. The choroid releases growth factors that have the potential to regulate scleral extracellular matrix remodeling and leading to increases in ocular growth and a more myopic refractive state. Myopia is caused by a complex interplay between genetic and environmental factors. To date, more than 600 genetic loci have been identified for refraction and myopia. Persons at high genetic risk have an up to 40 times increased risk of myopia compared with persons at low genetic risk. Secondary syndromic forms of high myopia, such as Marfan's, Stickler's, and Donnebarrow syndrome, are inherited predominantly in a Mendelian fashion. Therefore, a clinician should be aware of their syndromic features, and extensive ocular examination should be performed in case of a young onset of myopia or clinical suspicion. So thank you very much for your kind attention and I wish you a, a pleasant uh, uh, webinar viewing. Thank you.